Hi YouTube, how are you doing and welcome to Before Your Eyes. This is not a horror game. I usually only upload horror games to this channel, but I really have been looking forward to play this for a long time. It is a game that moves forward by you blinking and it is apparently a very emotional game. So if you're not ready to become emotional or watch something that is emotional, then you can check out an another video. But I really want to experience it today. And I hope you join me on this journey. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into Before Your Eyes. Here we go. This is a game about blinking. See? Every time you blink, the game will notice. See how this works? <laughs> Try blinking on the white symbol. This is cool. <laughs> when you see a metronome and blink, you'll jump forward. Keep blinking. It's pretty loud. <laughs> One second. Let's reduce the volume a little bit. Can I go to the boat? I'm in the water. Oh, whoa. Uh oh. Get away, you lucky fowls. That's mine. Well, hello there, stranger. Whew. You're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with or <laughs> hands to shake with. I'm just one big eyeball. Nose to look down with. So we're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you. If that makes any sense. So if you understand what I'm saying, um. Blink over my hand here. Ooh, well, look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew you were special. I'm a blinking genius. See all genius, them guys. poor souls down there, lost in the waves. Just eyeballs. I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. See, I I just sometimes get a sort of a a hunch, or what's a better word? Notion. Ah, a premonition. A premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. Now you see that tower out there? Big scary oh, Jesus. one. That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper. Wow. To be judged. I'm gonna present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stern. Now if she's impressed, I get paid the Bitcoin, and you get yourself Bitcoin? a spot in her magnificent city. If she ain't, well, I eat seagull for dinner again, and uh, you, well, <laughs> we don't have to worry about that, because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller. How many are there? there? No, shut up. <laughs> birds. You had your chances. It wasn't my fault you were no good. Lay about. Unsatisfactory. Clock watchers. I got some words for you. Excuse me. <laughs> He's humping the chair. Stop it. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> so sure, maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but I know how to spin a yarn if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Your life. You're going to show it to me. I want to see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So, just think back to the 
very beginning, the first thing that you can remember. I'm gonna send you there. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not gonna be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Could be a second, could be five years. That's just how this thing works. All right. All righty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm going to send you back. What and if don't I be never afraid. blink? And don't try to fight it. The thing. <laughs> well, bye bye. Try to enjoy it this time. Look at that sun. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. Why are you smiling like that? You must really like it out here, huh? Well, I get that. I like it too. Cute. Oh, hey there. Go get you some seashells. Music. What do you say? Am I just a dog, or am I like I'm not a person? Am I? You see that big spiky plant over there? That's called Nagave. Eleven years from now, that plant will die so it can give birth to this tall, amazing tree covered in flowers. We'll have to keep our eyes on that. Day really slipped away, didn't it? Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Now, where's the first page of my piece? It's right there. I can't find it anywhere. Did I put it in here? No. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> I found it. Oh. Okay. okay I need to not look away Go from ahead, the screen because I think it comes as blinking for the game. If I look away, sorry. Look at that! There's your little hand. We have to make him do this every birthday. <laughs> That's a great idea. I'm a baby! Oh, baby God, Sim! To see how he grows? Benny, Man, one year. I'm Benny. Fantastic! What was that deep? Battery low. You know what's odd? Uh oh. This battery isn't even working. What does that mean? Oh, you want to play along with mommy, don't you? I'm a baby! <laughs> Give it time. I'm sure you'll be... Oh. I want to. <laughs> Sounds good, honey. I'm going to my mentor next week. Go through the day. bubbles. Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. Yeah, what do you like about it? What do I like? I like the Come music. On, get the big one, yes. That's pretty specific. I want all the I bubbles pop. I also popped. like the person playing it. Bubble popper master. I need all the bubbles popped. Oh. No blinking until all the bubbles are gone. <laughs> Fuck my eyes. I gotta play. <laughs> Look at his little face. What do you think he's thinking about? It's a boat in the sky. You see it? Probably solving the problems of the universe. Yes. That's me. Oh man, my eyeball. So, <laughs> I needed to not stare. No, it's up. not derivative. At least I didn't think it was. 
Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? It's right. another boat. No, so I'm many sorry. Boats. I, I guess I just put a lot of expectation oh. on this call. Okay, I understand. Look, it's a boat. I did it. Thank I you did for a thing. My Look, keystone. mom. <laughs> it really means a lot. Look, it's so pretty. <laughs> You better That's know sure what it is. a little mess of color. Shh, it's a boat, you dummy! Hey, we do not throw things in this house. If you're mad that... No! <laughs> God, I need to freaking restore my eyeballs after that one session of holding it open for so long. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't do that. Bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Baby grand piano. It just two and up. Oh. See? That used to be my piano. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. God. He made me practice so much. I hated it at first. I think he hoped to make it further than conducting the high school choir. Never said anything, though. He was what you might call the strong, silent type. Can you believe I grew up in the snow? And I came all the way out here to the beach. I don't even know how I got here. Your dad got his job and I just came with him. Okay, Benny. Are you ready to see something really special? Thank you, Mike, for the I two just gifts don't want him to get attached. To the doggy? Doggy. It's a the cutest thing I've ever it's seen. It's a kitty. Yeah. yeah. What's wrong with that? Hey we can't there. keep them. Can we? Oh, I mean, that's so cute. I'm pretty much definitely allergic, so no, right? No. We'll find someone to take him. But while he's here, uh, I say we call him Ernie. <laughs> Little Ernie. Hey there. <laughs> now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? There you go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like yes. you just want to jump up and down? Now what about C minor? I remember how to have play never that played one? piano. But the game knows for me. Very good. Just one note different. But that one sounds sad, doesn't it? Does it? I mean... Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. <laughs> Uh oh, she's allergic for the cat to the cat. <laughs> sort of like me and your little friend on your piano there. Hey, kitty. She was in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just prayed to God I could somehow keep up. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes, you know, which I very quickly lost. <laughs> God, she dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. Where would you want to go if you could only go to one? Ooh. Ooh. Fuck. No. Oh my god. But shit, I want I was not ready to pick yet. And then I had to blink because I'm a human being that blinks. <laughs> Fuck. I hate being a human. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably going to pick Egypt, I think. I don't know. It was a really hard choice. Wait, is that... 
that's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? Richard, are you hearing this? I'm a genius! What? He's playing my piece. Absolutely. Your piece like sucks, here. though. <laughs> I mean, I was a gifted kid, but he's brilliant. We need to get him into serious piano lessons. Look what I'm doing. I'm doing it! It's me! You know anyone who might be a good teacher for him? What? No, I'm done. <laughs> Oh God, I have my interview in five minutes and I completely forgot to feed him. Hey there, kitty. What am I doing? <gasps> Don't worry, I already did. For a moment, I forgot what a great father you are. Just focus on the interview, honey. I got this. Look at it. That's so cute. <laughs> Excuse me, of course, sir. It's all organized. Kitty is getting bigger. Sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. What could possibly happen to the files between now and tomorrow morning? We are fine. Hey there. Did you just pee on the table? Mom's not gonna like that. Oh, luckily you have self-dissolving pee. Thank you. When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, why not? You're a working woman now. I why are you getting true. so lazy? Sorry. Go to your head. <laughs> yeah. Please let the cat know. It's time to use the litter box, though. Baby steps. He's got one eye. This game is too happy. It's suspicious. This is called a metronome. It has a little smiley face on it. Look at that. That's cute. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius just as I was. <laughs> he said, Yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, I could live on through that as well. <laughs> no such luck for me. But I do wonder what he'll think about you. I'm still super small. I want to hear what the phone has to say. What? What was that? You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Okie dokie. Subdivide the time. 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e. You're off. What? Yeah, because I have too much turn I can't, can't do this shit, man. I hate you. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Okay, now keep a firm grip on it, just like that. Oh my. <laughs> well, don't think you like that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Turn around, L, so we can photograph you. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? It may not be interesting at first, but if you keep going back out there every day, you'll be surprised by how much it changes. Let's go check. Lost cat, no! Ernie! Ernie! Buddy! Ernie! Ernie! No! Ernie! Ernie needs you! Oh, God, Elle, what if you got eaten by a coyote? My sinuses would be eternally indebted. What did you just say? No, I, I said I'm really worried. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty! God, honey. I'm worried too. I know, sweetie. Ernie! 
Oh, it got put higher because yeah. we're better now. Come to Papa. I know you're mad about last night, but this is ridiculous. What happened last night? Oh, God. What? Well, if he survived that, I don't know how worried we have to be. Okay, well, let's take this seriously, okay? He is... So you're oh, saying it's a coincidence is. that He's it back. disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? But Ernie's a boy. And you're sure about that? Uh... <laughs> uh huh. And that was based on. Hole distance from the butt. If it's further away or something. He keeps coloring the grass blue, the ocean green, and then the sky red. What's wrong? Do you want to pick up the new book? Yes. You know, Galia is a particular interest. I meant Benny's book. Oh, yeah. Got those two. It's pretty expensive, right? Well, you know, you can't put a price on learning. I mean, they did. And it's super big. Dinosaurs. Can I change that? Oh wait, oh, oh I like dinosaurs. I'm fine with that. Uh What am I doing? What's gonna happen when I get through the door? But I have to hold my eyes open for so long. But I wanna see. Uh oh, it's consuming me. Get through the door. We'll never know. <laughs> I know, it seems impossible that you could ever play something so complex. Here but just take it one day at a time. Trust me. You're really getting there, honey. Yes, I'm Next so good at we'll this. Next start working on your other hand. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> he just smashed the keyboard. Listen to him, Richard. <laughs> I've been listening to him in that competition. I thought you said competition took the joy out of playing music. Not if you win. Of course. I, I actually, this is one of the very few songs that I've ever like learned the the notes, like the how to play, not like any like normal piano play, just which keys to press in which order. With like little notepads on the on the okay. piano keyboard <laughs> with like numbers on them. This is the first key, and then you press that one. Two washers on each. Chris said, "Find the zero," uh -oh. and he just drew an arrow pointing to it. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? I mean, everything is wrong with that. I'm a dumbass. Benny one year old, Benny two year old. This is actually a really cool thing. That is a really cool tradition. Do like a hand painting every single year. That's really, that's really cute. Congratulations, B. First of many, I'd assume. I'm very good at piano. That's the thing. I got broccoli. Wait, where? I know that from somewhere. Isn't that from The Walking Dead, that broccoli this man? Isn't my house. It's not my house. Right. It's my house. Yeah, of course, it's just the story of me growing up. That's the point of the game. No, they're moving out. That's sad. Or are they moving in? And they're gonna become my friend. That would be nice. Fall back, you fool! I'll have your head. I'll feed them to the cat. <laughs> Maybe if you actually got me a place game, I'd want to play inside. That's not fair, Chloe. You're not fair. <laughs> 
I've just been taking creepy pictures of this this person. I'm also walking extremely dramatically slowly. Why are you always out here taking photos? You know, if you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. <laughs> Wait, I tried to take a photo, but the thing didn't oh, detect it. Fuck. I think I gotta go, but, um, try to take a photo of me running into my house. Yes, I'm pretty I got fast, it. so I don't think you'll be able to, but you can try. I do I fuck. Dude, I'm getting scammed Hello, by the game. Everyone. Betty's about to play for us. She's too fast, I can't. <laughs> Wow, L, he's unbelievable. My God, I didn't realize our head of accounting was raising a musical prodigy. Didn't you used to be a composer yourself, L? No, I don't know if I'd say that. <laughs> the class is world history. <laughs> My name is Mr. Isaac. The class will be broken up in hey, units. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Look on your desk. <laughs> he just fucking dies at <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I just threw like half my stuff off my desk. <laughs> Sorry. This is funny. <laughs> Okay, we're all good. We're all good. We're very serious. This is a serious game. We're gonna cry in this game. This is a very emotional game. <laughs> hey, so what? Uh, thank you for the four months. <clears throat> we are in the same class. What a coincidence! Please keep in mind that while we're at school, we don't know each other. Do not talk to me ever. Love Chloe. While you're pretty rude. Not doodle on the sidelines, not stare off in space. Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. That is very inefficient use of your okay. now, I will notes, on to but okay. The next slide. Chloe, tell me, what did the quote say? Um, I help you. Right, I definitely I have it. this. You were taking notes. Those who cannot remember the past are So those who do not remember the past repeat the past. That's right, You're right? Dumbass. Indeed it is. Oh. Though I'd prefer you to answer without the help of your boyfriend next time. If we do not keep an accurate account of the past, we are destined to you embarrass ourselves and all sorts of well, But I asked you to, so I guess I'll have to let you all in. Been waiting for <laughs> I tried to convince your father not to buy you that thing, but he insisted. Half suspected. I guess so I have to let now. you live. <laughs> the little guys are pretty cute, though. I will admit that. Oh, I want the job of whoever gets paid to think of that crap. Eleven. Conchester. A new contestant has approached. A long last, at long last, your favorite contestants are ready for battle for the place game. Join Marcy and her four sad brothers as they search for their lost mother, the legendary Queen Conch, and trap gooey monsters with Dr. Ab's patented seashells and coerce them into spectacular battles. Epic. It's Pokemon. I'm definitely feeding you next door, but I didn't realize you guys had become friends. Oh, sure. Hey. We're together in history class. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. Very sweet. Thank you for playing this game with him. Your dad just thanked me for hanging out with you? That's a very interesting detail. 
<laughs> okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. I really want tickle this stick. One. What is that? Maybe I'll use tickle stick. <laughs> That's a pretty good drawing. You should draw pictures of more different stuff. Not me, though. I'll actually kill you if you try to draw me, and you saw what I'm capable of in your backyard. <laughs> Benny, why did you draw me? You're not good enough. I look so ugly. Ugh. I don't think so. It's called a magnet school. It's about an hour away in a town called Bert. I know the change can be scary, but I just want you to go in and meet the dean I spoke with. As if I would ever Your read this. Your bright you future is waiting. If you're really, really good at something. trouble making friends at Playco. I want you at a place where people really get you. So what do you think, Benjamin? You think you could excel in that sort of an environment? I already don't like this guy. Sorry, he gets very shy. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Oh, I am the best piano player. Why don't you two come back closer to the end of the year for an audition? We'll get a few pieces that you can have him start learning. I'm eager to hear what your son is capable of. Hmm. So you just keep talking. What so the fuck is with your mouth? What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. Did you see that? As you can see, there are some very fast runs in there. And a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. So no pressure. I just want you to try. And we can see um, if you start enjoying it. There's like a million notes in here. Just like to see you really rise to the occasion. Just this once. I wish I had the option of going to a school like that when I was your age. What I wouldn't be working this boring Look at job that or living in this boring town, I'll tell you that. Crumple? No. Why would I do that? We can try this. Here. I'm I'm so good at this. Just wait. I got this. Don't answer that, Ben. You can talk to it's your Chloe. friends after you practice. No. Wait, I can't? But I wanna! I don't think this is at the right speed. Oh my god. Is she really calling you again? Yeah, what, is she obsessed with you? Why are you so rude? So listen, I found a conscious. What are you doing? I explicitly asked you not to pick up the phone. Yeah, you, you're not my mom. Wait, you, oh, what? Why, well, I was listening. Anubis, in the presence <laughs> of Ma'at, who you remember is the goddess of truth and justice, would weigh the deceased soul against a feather, determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. Oh, look at this. And what if they are deemed unworthy? Well... You can see that ugly fur ball under the scale? That is Amamet, and she's got, and yes, that's a she, the head of a crocodile, fur of a lion, see, and the body of a hippopotamus, <laughs> though I would not say that to her face. <laughs> now, oh, fuck, I drew it on top of the other. Mr. Kid, best. Any of the Look at Do it. not pass judgment. What? Sort of like me with your weekly quizzes. Oh, yeah. So I am not quite sure why I don't do weird more neighbor kid. scribbling right now. Phoenix, thank you. Tonight, after my dad goes to sleep, I'm going to sneak out my house and go sleep on the beach. 
If you want to get invited, draw me a picture of Mr. Isaac feeling constipated. I'm not... That's gonna get me in trouble, Chloe! I'm gonna be trouble! Well, at least I'm drawing it on the paper that incriminates you in this task. So, dumbass. I'm doing it. <laughs> Don't laugh so hard! Stupid. Slightly worried about having him change schools just as he started to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game you bought for him. Listen, I don't claim to understand the motives of children. Richard, Benny has a chance here. A real chance to be really good at something. I mean, no offense at all. But I don't think you actually really understand what that is. Oh, no. I suppose you're right. Oh, Richard, please. What? Parents are fighting? Feels bad, man. Their monster? Chloe. Lights out. You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, My you'll mom used to say a that master. Every single time I had a test. That what that lady just said, my mom said that every single test. Not mom says you say. Benny. I say, turn the lights off. <laughs> Sneak out, try to sleep. But I gotta be a good boy. But also, Chloe. Okay. Wow. Didn't think you'd actually pick up. I'm a sticky for a baby. I apologize. Okay, so meet me out in the alley in T minus now. Okay? Chloe out. <laughs> Chloe is so cute. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, I'm really glad you're here. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Or to get off my chest. Okay. I don't think Conksters is actually a really good game. My cousin Yoon, he was in town this weekend, and he was explaining how it's actually a ripoff of a really good Japanese game. He calls it a cash grab. So I'm sorry that I made you like it because it's actually a terrible game. But I also think that if it was a really good game, Maybe we wouldn't have enjoyed playing it as much. We would have been so focused on how good it was and not the feelings we had while we were playing it. <laughs> this is like so good. My favorite good. vegetable is the tomato. What the but fuck? Ian thinks that they're the grossest ever. And you're probably the least popular boy in the school. Jesus. But I also like hanging out with you the most. Aww. Which was also something I wanted to talk to you about. I like hanging out with you a lot. Which is weird because after what happened with my mom, it's so I never loud the music. Out with anyone. So this has been a big surprise for me this year in a lot of ways. I think I like that you let me talk. <laughs> my cousin never lets me talk. My dad does, but I can tell he's not really listening. Can I look at stuff? Oh, okay. I should have probably been doing this. What am I doing? Oh, am I? What am I doing? Oh. 
I was just so focused on what she was saying. I wanted to listen. Am I spelling out the word star? Stay here. That's kind of... I want a picture of that. Probably didn't sleep at all. Out in the cold all night. You're already feeling sick, aren't you? It's okay. You still got this. I mean, I all the still practice had to count for something. Yes. Maybe just try and close your eyes now and get a little sleep on the way over. I'm going to play the recording so the sound of uh -oh. mastery can seep into your subconscious a little, okay? Close your eyes, Ben. I'm going to be there soon. In your own time, Benjamin, we are very excited to hear. I ain't got this. MZ, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you so much. Here we go. Okay, I think that's enough. So, Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan on having you come back next year again, once you've had a bit more time to practice, yes? As you know, Burton isn't the right fit for every student, and I wish you the best of luck on your path, wherever it may be take you, okay? All right. I, I really want to thank you and your mother for coming all the way out here. I know it was quite the drive. No. Maybe I pushed you too hard. Oh, no. Maybe I turned into my own father. I don't know. You have to find something to focus on. The world isn't very kind to people who aren't really Just become a streamer, something. dude. Easy piece. I'm just kidding. We just want to play video games. School for a while, <laughs> just until this nasty thing clears. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh yes, of course. I'll be honestly, right back then, there's okay? probably there's just a, maybe five minutes. Honestly, you know? there's probably like a there's a business for that. You just 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 make a channel with Chloe. And then she plays video games while you draw animations for it. So then it becomes like video game animated. Right? So she plays the games and then you make a story about the games. You animate them. That is such a market. Dude, big brain. Do that. You got this, Ben. You got this. This is a business. That's a business. Okay. I didn't even blink, but sure. crucial time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Yeah, just I mean, having him home for low means I can spend more time with him. You know? We can focus him. Make sure he's staying engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? Are you... Isn't this the title screen? This is how we started. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out. I was literally to about to say video game time. You're home from school. But video game. Blood. Give away? No. Don't give away my boat. I like the boat.
I'm drawing the boat. What? Look, it's the boat. I made it. Also, that was like the same. It had the same uh, little wind-up wheel as the boat we were on. Um, on the big sea at the start of the game. Oh, I'm getting better at drawing. Maybe drawing is my calling. What's he doing? He's drawing. He's becoming a super Maybe I didn't like piano. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Well, ever since he got sick, all he does is make art. I mean, I was definitely really good at piano too, but drawing has always been a really fun thing. Look at that. <laughs> Mr. Benjamin Grin has been awarded first place. Woo! I really gotta thank you for this, Benny. Emma Bills is so pissed that weird camera kid won over her multiple horse portrait that she <laughs> literally just left with her dad in tears. <laughs> Wait, that's so much better, though. My mine is not even in the frame. I fucking couldn't even draw within the lines of the fucking paper, bro. <laughs> Art school application, let's go! This is fucking genius. Dude, this is some next level shit right here. You are not here to learn to be painters. You are here to learn to be artists. And although I have desire to teach you, it is a sham. There is no teaching art. So don't just sit there slack, Todd. Make I fucking fucked it up. Ponies. Oh. Jesus, sir. I I should have done it a little bit lower, but hey, I can still fix this. Look, Mister, I finished. I did it. Look, it's, it's beautiful. Okay, here we. Oh my goodness, why is there a naked man there? Do I need to draw all of this? Uh oh. What? Oh, what the heck happened there? How very there? wacky and fun these are. <laughs> what? I can do my own artistic renditions of these. That's sick. Look at that one. Very zany. Very kitsch. <laughs> do I have to draw the naked man? I'm not doing it. <laughs> I am not drawing you, you freaking weirdo. What is this? There you go, Mr. Brin. What am I doing here? Feel each shape. It's, I'm getting worse. Oh, is it like the, is it the idea of that when you get taught how to make art? I've, I'm not art, like an artistic person myself, but I've heard people say that they don't like being taught art, that they like to teach themselves. And that is maybe this is the idea of that, that we're turning, becoming worse, but the teacher thinks we're better because they're training us to do what they want to see. I want you all to take to a see. long look at what Mr. Brin has done here. You see, <laughs> he has reached down deep within himself and created a masterpiece. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's a masterpiece. <laughs> this is disgusting. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. What a masterpiece. 
The drawing I made in high school of the boat was better than this shit. Pray you have a stronghold on yourself, Mr. Bryn. For I fear, with talent like these, you may soon be swept away by a whirlwind. What does that even mean? Are you trying to- are you- are you- are you threatening me? I'm stunned. The He's... ironic sincerity of this piece is so sincerely ironic. He split the discourse so thoroughly, I'm actually dizzy. What? I know that lots of agents gave you lots of cards, and it all probably feels weird and alienating and the opposite of what being a Whoa. starving artist is supposed to feel like. But if I, I really like one this one. Thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, you open the door. Making a living isn't selling out. I wish I had thought of it that way. Why is there so many options? Benjamin, the marvelous show last week. Truly stunning. I've never been prouder. Jesus if Christ. Birdie told me that Elba Preston Hoover gave you her card. Now, I want you to cut that card into little pieces and feed it to an alley cat. Elba Preston Hoover is not in the business of the arts. Elba Preston Hoover is in the business of business. And you, child, you are no business man. You are an artist. <laughs> Uh... Don't worry. You're not selling your soul. Uh, no. I will not join your multi-channel network, you bitch! Well, look at that! You Eat crumbled this. my contract. <laughs> uh, whatever you want, kid. Sure, you got talent. Okay, that's it. Get out of my office. You know I'd call security if I thought you were actually a threat. But what are you going to do? Paint me to death? Yes. <laughs> I will stab this in your eyeball. <laughs> okay, let's not. <laughs> to being a difficult artist, as the best of us are. This is divine. So, now that you've grown your wings, tell me, young master, where will you fly? May I suggest somewhere abroad? This American air can be stifling. Ah, now what to eat? If we both only get appetizers, I can afford to go Dutch. Otherwise, I thank you for the dinner. Did you just say Dutch? I approve. Oh boy, I really like that. I just like the classic. Looks good. Nice, nice stop. Is that a? It actually looks really nice. I think it is. I don't like the abstracts. I like it when it's just here. That's nice. <laughs> I should have put that on the thing instead of the left. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I was going to draw more than that. <laughs> I bet you're happy you threw that contract in her face now. You didn't sell out, and you still got rich. <laughs> oh, but listen to me, Benjamin. <laughs> now is the single most important moment in your entire career. They're gonna, they're gonna be talk, they're gonna be talking about why I put the sprinkles to the left there for the next hundred years. Let's go! I'm such an evil genius. <laughs> oh, this game is fantastic. I love it. Oh. Bored we become once it's 
If you have eyes, you will love the show. <laughs> What did the artist mean hey, when he drew the sprinkles to the I'm left? Pick up this call, okay? I mean it. I'm just calling to inform you that I went to the doctor today. Wait, and, is this calling? Well, I'm, I'm gonna be a little sick for a while, but really, I I don't want you worrying about it at all. You're such an oh, Benny, I told you not to pick up. I just didn't. Like, there's nothing you can do for me right now. All you can do is just. Keep you make that work of true genius. I can just tell you're almost there. So I'm going to hang up the phone now, and you, you're, you're just gonna get back to work, okay? What the fuck am I you're doing? Right? What is this? But that's enough for me. Now. You'll hear from the person who I believe is the single thing in the world my wife was most proud of. Oh Her. no! Magnum opus. So. No! 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 Not mom. Go on, B. Say something. What's wrong? Why aren't you talking? There's like freaking 10 people here. That is so sad. Actually, very nice. You are a snake. You are a fraud. But worst of all, Benjamin, you are a little tease. I have told the world that Benjamin Brain is a genius. I have told the world that Benjamin Brain is. Hey, B. I think I'm selling the house. What? She's everywhere here, son. I can't move without bumping into her. And then I just find myself breaking down again. I hope you understand. Take whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm just so glad you got to speak to her one last time. I mean, I know she told you not to pick up the phone, <laughs> but, well, I'm just so happy that you did. She just wanted you to focus on your work. That was the only thing that mattered to her. Wait! Okay, good. Keep. I'm keeping everything. Fuck this. I want it all. What's that? What's so fascinating, son? Manuscripts and staves. Remember, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Oops. <laughs> Oops. 
<laughs> it's artistic. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> Okay, I, I am terrible at <laughs> Look. It's unbelievable, Benny. Yeah, I fucked it up. I'm sorry. Like <laughs> I can see her in the paint. I wish I did better than this because I'm not really Feel feeling her. it right now. This is gonna haunt me forever. <laughs> the passing day. Inspired by the musical composition of his late mother, the composer L. Stevens, relatively unknown in her life, really Rin lifts this Chloe. mother's work out of Your the neighbor. obscurity with the creation of this piece. Oh my God, I She's can't now considered this. to be it's one of the great years. composers I of her time. I just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. I'd love to walk through it again with you. I mean, if you were down for that. I just can't believe that my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. I should have guessed it. I mean, with all those little drawings you did. Remember when you still drew my portrait, even when I begged you not to? <laughs> God, you were such a little jerk back then. And your mom. I always heard her playing piano from next door, but I didn't know she wrote the actual music. She was a genius. Like mother, like son, I guess. Hey, so, not to be forward, but what are you doing after this? Maybe hey. we could get a drink or something? Yes. I'd really love to catch <laughs> up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. Oh, no. Now would you look at that? <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. But I was so involved. <laughs> you finally hit the jackpot, Flapjack. With all the nobody nothings dying every day, you finally sink your hook into Babu, boo, thank you for the 28. Whoa. Well, there you are. Well, hello, sir. If I realized I would have cleaned up. I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists, a couple college athletes here or there, but whew, an internationally renowned painter? <laughs> the gatekeeper's gonna eat you up. Hey, speaking of that, why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe you help me out the word choice since you know I'm still working on that Let's see if I'm getting all the strokes right the proper composition if you catch my drift <laughs> yeah, forget about it all right here we go gatekeeper before you stands the soul of a great man now would you describe yourself as a a happy kid or a lonely one? His childhood was a happy one, growing up in a loving home raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. And, uh, what'd you say your mom was? A composer or an accountant? What the fuck? <laughs> His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. <laughs> How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? Kind of like always a nice. champion or, or more like a taskmaster. Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was ever encouraging, teaching him to recognize the greatness within. And how about that neighbor girl, huh? What was she to you? Was she your best friend or first love? Now be honest here. 
But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up <laughs> all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. Now, from that moment forward, his mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium, right? See, when he was 12 years old, he got sick. And he had to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten, painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. But be quiet, I'll leave. With expectations <laughs> on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said shut up, you, you scum goals, you lucky fans. <laughs> I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I'd assume as much anyway. I should probably tell you. Those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. <laughs> They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. Well, once first. they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. Liar I bird. I feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings. Oh, yeah, good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. Hopefully you won't be seeing him again. Can I look around? <clears throat> You're a flea bitten sap, you know that? <clears throat> Just look at him. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. Going, we're in an elevator on a boat. <laughs> now, don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to boink right past it. Boink? Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. Uh... And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're the rottenest soul that I ever fished out of that black muck. I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. Excuse me, sir. But it's too late for that. We're in this together. And the gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. So I'm going to ask you again to start from the very beginning. And this time... I want the truth. Excuse me? The truth? What What? What did we forget? Oh no. This is gonna be extra sad. Okay, the fan does make it hard to not, not this. instantly blink though. <laughs> now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found it yet. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? 
Now what about C minor? You remember how to play that one? I don't have time for this. The gatekeeper's waiting. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. Um, so I asked him. I didn't blink, but okay. This. Stay here. What did your mother hear on that phone call? Keep your eyes open. I need to see. I didn't hear this. What is this? I'm getting it. Hello? Yes, of course. This is Elle, his daughter. Oh, See, she knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And now, she never could. Let's keep going. What? What? Excuse me? I'm, on, I'm not... You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? You were a prodigal talent. I get it. Let's move. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E. Eternally indebted. What? Did oh, her father say? died. This I isn't a trip down memory lane. I need you to stay focused. This is literally a trip down memory lane. That's like the definition of what we're doing. But okay. Yes, I understand about the cat. Let's keep going. I'm still not understanding how you let this happen. I don't know. <laughs> Think about it. Yeah, what happened here? I was so I was waiting for so long and it didn't happen. Like my eyes legitimately started hurting. <laughs> this game just traced to I waited for so long to get to the door and then I just couldn't hold it anymore. I waited like 30 seconds. I was so close to this. What is gonna happen? The cats? <gasps> oh no. The death of those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson. That simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work to make yourself sensational. Listen to him, Richard. I'm enlisting him in that competition. I thought you said competitions took the joy out of playing music. Not if you win. Dude, I have cheese. <laughs> this piano with cheese, I just played the entire song on the corner of the piano. <laughs> I like hanging out with you a lot, which is weird because after what happened with my mom, I never liked oh. you. Wait, why is the wine? I know up you there? want to stay here, man, but we don't have the time. So this has I have been to. a big surprise for me this year in a lot of ways. I think I like that you let me talk. Can I not do this? My husband never lets me talk. My dad does, but I can tell he's not really listening. Stay here. <laughs> I'm not worried about who you are, Benny. I'm worried about who you're going to become. I get all this. We need to move. Hey, Elle, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? This is Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found it yet. Let you two go. What is this? Oh, yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny, okay? Just maybe five minutes, kiddo, okay? What are you doing here? Okay. Yeah. We can focus in on the tree. Staying engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? I really don't want to hear us talking about this. I 
need to hear what they're saying. Really try to recall it. I mean, what's the point? What's the point? What do you mean? What's the point? What does that mean? What's the point of any of it? And if he's never going to get any better. Okay. Let's not say that. Okay? We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard one of us saying something like that? I'd never forgive myself. I... It's okay. He's asleep. It's okay. I see. You got sick. That's sad. You howled at the moon. At the top of your lungs. You were sick for a long time, weren't you? Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get? Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. We're almost at the end of this. I promise. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Try writing with it. Hi, Mom. <laughs> well, hello, Benny. <laughs> it was your grandfather's, but I used it in college to write lyrics. <laughs> exactly. It was very artsy. Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. Made him think I was some kind of genius. Why don't you write the story of your life so far? And then what you're going to do once you get better. That's a lot of things. The Great Life of Benjamin Brin... Brin... Brinks. Mother was a composer. I love that it is the no. This is literally the story that we just told the guy. In a quaint village by the sea, his mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as a count. Man. This is wild. You really got into this, didn't you? Oh, here I am. Mm -hmm. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. First love? Uh oh. Okay, Benny. And you know, we really could have just slept on the beach another night. But I'm also glad we didn't because, well, another night wouldn't be the same night, if that makes sense. Okay, uh, back to the story. <laughs> you are going to be in there for about 30 minutes, so try to get comfortable. Great, buddy. Just a little longer, okay? 30 minutes. The 
fuck is that? Knock, knock. You're gonna be so annoyed with me, but I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading aloud from what I think was your story the other night. I know, I know. I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know I'm such a big fan of anything you do. Oh, that's such a sweet thing to say. That is such an adorable thing to say. What the heck? I can't. Just go in there and tell him you loved it. I'm telling you, I just can't. What? I just can't. Not right now. Okay, don't worry. Just go to bed. I'll talk to you. Hey, B. Just want you to know that Mom loved your story. She's just... Yeah, I think it was just very emotional for her to read. But I, I thought it was great. I mean, look at this. His childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home, raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. <laughs> I'm certainly glad you feel that way. But what I want to know is, where'd you learn to write so well? All those cool words. It reads like Dickens. <laughs> Really, just very cool stuff, kiddo. You should be very proud, okay? Okay. Love you, buddy. Uh, this is... Benjamin. Benjamin Brent was a loser. Excuse me? He was the worst brand to ever live. He didn't even try to fight the disease inside him. He just laid down and died. Excuse me? If he's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, I know my wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, I understand. It hits mothers the hardest, this sort of thing. Thank you for understanding. It's been, uh, it's been a rough one. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, hey man, it's Richard. 
Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here. Yeah, no, that's not going to be possible. To be honest, your whole tone is pissing me off right now. Yes, I understand you have a business to run. It's a very <laughs> cliche thing to say to me in a time like this. Okay, well, well, then I guess all I can say is screw you too. I said, screw you too. Yeah, man, that's all I got. <laughs> hey, this isn't funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. I happen to actually... Hey, Benny. Buddy. Did you just throw something? No. Kind of sounded like you threw your cell phone at the wall. So you're very... <laughs> no, your mom's not mad at you. She's just... Well, she's tired. This is kind really of genius. <laughs> tired, I think. You know, it's okay if you did throw your phone at the wall. Hell, I mean, I wanted to throw my phone at the wall a minute ago. That you is know so what? Cool. Maybe I will throw my phone at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Benny? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should throw things more often. Keep it in therapy, I can tell you that much. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best dad. I remember when he was just four years old. Mom was going through a pretty tough time. Not as tough as now, but yeah, her music had been rejected. And she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here. And I feared that yeah, I was losing her. But then you played this on the piano. And just your little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. So, I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Mm -hmm. Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. How did you figure out how to play that? Oh, you just have to hold it on the thing. You don't have to be all spastic about it. Fucking smash the keyboard. <laughs> no, you do not. Okay, then. <laughs> Sorry. You playing B? She's listening. Get well soon. That's cute.
Bernie! Hey, hey. Hey there, little buddy. What are you doing, Al? I'm just gonna make you sick. Oh, it's okay. I'm just so happy she's here. Huh. We've got to show this cat some real love. She's been through more than we can even imagine. Oh, her poor fur. Richard, we have to give Ernie a haircut, okay? I'm getting her a sashimi plate. <laughs> what? What? I think she more than deserves it. Oh, I think you're right. <laughs> Like, she didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with- Chloe? Do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Okay, I'm calling now. Honey. an idiot. <laughs> you do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. I, um, I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day and how I reacted to it. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. But... What are you looking at? Don't look up there. Look at me. I am looking at you. I'm talking to you. I want to give you something. But I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. <laughs> close your eyes now, okay? Dear weird neighbor kid, you are my first love. Aww. <laughs> Wait, I, I couldn't. I started like tearing up. I couldn't focus. That is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> What is that? It's something new I'm working on. So you're writing again? Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. It's sad. Yeah, well, that would make sense. But do you like it? I mean, yeah. I love everything you do. <laughs> what do you like about it? Ah, uh, not this old trap. Go on. I'm waiting. Well, it made me feel like... Like... Like if the unspeakable darkness I'm carrying can be so well expressed. What? You know, for a while now, 
I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. Ugh. I know just what to tell her. Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. Believe me. I should go get ready. I think I know it's gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. We got this. I think. Wish me luck. To Kenny. Gatekeeper, before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old. Oh no. That means she's ready to hear your story. You know, I never told you how much I loved your story really so imaginative and the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy my only issue was well I didn't like him very much so I wanted to read you something I wrote for you which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now it's called the Great Life of Benjamin Brin. <clears throat> Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary home, to an ordinary mother and father in a small town by the sea. His mother was a composer, or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him. But then, when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't lived enough. So he made up a story of the great life he thought he wanted to live, which only made him forget the life he already had. How he, he had filled a new home with light and joy and promise. How he met a girl, girl his neighbor, who fell all alone in the world made her feel okay again and how even when he was sick he still gave his parents hope how he reminded them exactly who they were who they were after they had almost forgotten so when he knew he was going to go he was okay because he'd already lived a great life a full life and he was everything he needed to be just as he was Close your eyes now and keep them closed. <laughs> She's gonna let you in. smiling like that? He must be somewhere Go that on. he likes.
that is really good. <laughs> To my father, the man who taught me how to play. And when you meet somebody, you're gonna feel the same way I do. That was really good. I'm gonna say. I am very glad I played that game. I I had no idea. But yeah, it's not something These these games are very rare. I can't remember the last time a game was so meaningful that I've played. Not not just to me, but I'm glad I got to share it as well. Because that was, uh, I mean, I don't really want to talk about the story because I think if you remotely was confused, then I recommend you play it yourself rather than me explaining parts that I think are genius. Because there's definitely a lot to unpack, of course. But I recommend playing it regardless, because the experience of... It is, it is beautiful that they tell a very emotional story, and then they come connect the, the way of controlling it to your... I mean, pretty much as direct to your emotions as you can uh, make a game control. I don't know if this game is VR compatible, but that, 
It's kind of... I mean, this is pretty much... Like, as, as close as you can get to just linking it to you as a person. <laughs> KCB, thank you so much. And I saw... Veronica's as well, thank you. I think... Yeah, I don't know. I think the last time I cried at a video game was when Fessimer died in The Witcher 3. <laughs> so, uh... Those are, uh... Those are pretty rare. Yeah, well, if you haven't played the, the Witcher 3 at this point. Sammy, thank you. So yeah. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> well, that was wonderful. I... There's not much to say. I recommend playing it yourself. Absolutely. Even after you've seen it, uh, do it. Do it. And cry. <laughs> it's good to cry sometimes. Sometimes, this is like a game I... You can play it when you're sad or when you're happy. And it doesn't really matter. I think it links... It, it tells, tells a beautiful story. And I recommend you check it out. Because that was an experience I that only a beautiful game can give you. That you can't watch a movie give you this feeling. This is this is like the fact that you do this and you go through it connects you so much more to it than you otherwise than you can just by seeing someone else go through it. It's very special. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed your time with me and us today, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, bye, guys. I love you. <laughs> Goodbye. Have a good one.